Okay, we're gonna make roasted butternut squash this week. So you're going to cut your butternut squash in half and we're gonna scoop the seeds out. So you can just use a regular spoon and just scoop Get on in there. All those seeds out. And then you can save these for later and you can use them to toast with different spices of your choice and they'll make a great topping or snack. We have an example right here. These are roasted, roasted with pumpkin pie spice. Ooh. And they are going to go on top of our squash when we're finished. Perfect. So all the seeds you can save for later. Um, it's really easy to get the seeds off of the flush. You can just put them in a little bit of water and they'll start to break off and then you can use your fingers to take them apart. So now that we have our seeds scooped out, we're going to peel our squash with either a peeler or your knife, and then we're gonna cut it into one inch cubes. After you've peeled and cut your butternut squash, we have about three cups here, and the rest of the ingredients call for one tablespoon of olive oil. So we're gonna put that in. Like, I love this bottle, by the way. It right. makes it look so stylish. It's very <laughs> stylish. And then a uh, half a tea, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Take that for you. Half a teaspoon. Half One a teaspoon. teaspoon. One sorry, half a teaspoon. No, you're right, half okay. a teaspoon. Okay, it's like, good, <laughs> you know. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Scoop it if you want. Oh, scoop yeah. it. Oh, well, isn't that smart? I tell ya. All right, a little bit here, a little less here. All right, perfect, and that should be half perfect. a teaspoon. And you can add other spices if you want. So if you like nutmeg, if you just wanna buy pumpkin pie spice, cumin, all, all those go spice. well together, all spice. And then you're gonna mix it. So you're gonna make sure that all of it's covered, the olive oil and the cinnamon or whatever spices you decide to do, have around the house, anything to give it a little bit of flavor. Okay, and then once that's done, we're gonna pour it on a baking sheet. Now we have already preheated the oven to 400 degrees. So we're gonna put this out here. And then we will put this in the oven and this will take about 25 to 30 minutes. You want it to get, you know, tender. Tender. <laughs> Words. Yes, you want it to get tender. So 25 to 30 minutes should should give you exactly that crisp that you're looking for. Excellent. So while that's cooking, then you can do some exercises at home. So Megan's gonna take us through a small little circuit of exercises. All right, so while the butternut squash is roasting, we're gonna do some exercises. So we're gonna start with some jumping jacks to get your heart rate up. So we're gonna do 10 of these. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Then we're gonna do some high knees. If you want extra oomph, you can add a hop in between. I'm just not going to do that right now. And then we're going to go kick behind. So you're going to kick your bottom. And you're going to do this about 10 times. Again, for added, you can jump. Get that heart rate up. And again, I'm just going to step. And then we're going to do side. So we're going to do side squat. Almost like a curtsy. Side squat. Get your heart rate up. Maybe it's just me. I walk across the room and my heart rate goes up. So we're gonna do this 10 times. And then we're gonna start again with the jumping jacks and do this four times. Maybe five if you want extra oomph. Gotta get all that oomph. <laughs> okay. So our squash is finished. We pulled it out of the oven and it's nice and tender. So we're going to put it onto our platter. 
before we top it with our pecans and roasted squash seeds. It smells so good. This can also go on top of a salad uh, along with eating it by itself. You can blend it into soup for butternut squash. It's got a lot of different options. It's like, yeah, it's a great side dish and you can throw it and make with it whatever type of protein. It's like we have some extra pecans, so we're gonna just dump it. Yeah, yeah just, just dump, dump it. it. Sprinkle, Mix sprinkle all around, give some extra protein. I'm making a mess. And then we're gonna also add the roasted butternut squash seeds. So Ali added pumpkin spice. You can add allspice, you can add more cinnamon, um, just to give it, a, again, a little bit more flavor. And you can also do pumpkin seeds, raw pumpkin seeds that you buy at the store if you want. Uh, or you could even toss in a little bit of crumbled cheese, however Ooh. you would like it. So let's Ooh. give it a taste. I'm excited. Mm. Very good. Mm. So, really good. Yeah. I added a little crunch, crunch with the pecans too. All right, enjoy.